कम इज अ बिग जोल्ट इन डीड टू द समाजवादी पार्टी राइट अहेर ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश पोल्स मुलायम सिंह यादव बहु अपर्णा यादव हैज नाउ जॉइन द बीजेपी आफ्टर जॉइनिंग द पार्टी अपर्णा इज सेड दैट शी वाज इन्फ्लुएंस्ड बाय प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी एंड हिज पॉलिसीज हियर्स अ डिटेल्ड रिपोर्ट a big personal blow to samajwadi party and its chief akhilesh yadav aparna yadav the choti bahu of samajwadi party founder mulayam singh yadav joining the bjp a prize catch just weeks from crucial uttar pradesh assembly elections mahila ko suraksha aur adhikar dene ka kaam bhartiya janata party ne kiya par udaharan saaf hai बहु और बेटी हो भारतीय जनता पार्टी में सुरक्षित है नेता मुलायम सिंह जी की बहु अपर्णा यादव आज भारतीय जनता पार्टी में शामिल हो रही हैं मैं हृदय से स्वागत करता हूं भाभी टर्न्ड पॉलिटिकल राइवल ऑफ अखिलेश यादव नाउ लैविस्ड प्रेज ऑन प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी एंड यूपी चीफ मिनिस्टर योगी आदित्यनाथ I think nationalism is a very important aspect and has been always very important aspect of my life. Uh, not only this, I have always been very, very uh, profoundly, in fact, indelibly impressioned by whatever Honorable Prime Minister and uh, Honorable uh, Chief Minister of UP, Sri Yogi Adityanath Ji, has said. Whatever their policies are, I think I adhere to it. I abide by them. and i really respect both of them so i think i joined this party so that i can serve my nation better the saffron party rubbing it in almost bragging about a surgical strike on the samajwadi party's innermost circle coming after a serial exodus of disgruntled mlas from the bhartiya janata party uttar pradesh ke purva mukhyamantri aur samajwadi party ke vartaman adhyaksh shri akhilesh yadav ji अपने परिवार में ही सफल नहीं है और प्रदेश के मुख्यमंत्री के रूप में भी असफल रहे हैं सांसद के रूप में भी असफल हैं अखिलेश यादव हैज क्लेम्ड दैट मुलायम डिड ट्राई हिज बेस्ट बट फेल्ड टू कन्विंस अपर्णा यादव अगेंस्ट ज्वाइनिंग द भारतीय जनता पार्टी सबसे पहले तो मैं बधाई दूंगा और शुभकामनाएं और साथ ही साथ हमें खुशी इस बात की है कि समाजवादी विचारधारा का विस्तार हो रहा है नेताजी ने बहुत कोशिश की समझाने की नेताजी ने बहुत कोशिश की समझाने की बट इट्स नॉट जस्ट अपर्णा यादव द समाजवादी पार्टी क्लैन इज विटनेसिंग मोर एक्सोडस विद सेवरल अदर रिलेटिव ऑफ अखिलेश यादव लाइनिंग अप टू ज्वाइन द बीजेपी हमारे नेता माननीय मुलायम सिंह जी और गोपाल जी को अखिलेश जी ने बहुत प्रताड़ित किया हम लोग अंदर से बहुत दुखी हैं समाजदार समाजवादी विचारधारा इतने लोग थे अखिलेश जी ने सबको किनारा कर दिया अपर्णा हु इज क्लोज टू मुलायम इज वाइफ ऑफ अखिलेश स्टेप ब्रदर प्रतीक यादव हर इंटरेक्शन विद योगी आदित्यनाथ हैड अर्लियर रेस्ड आई ब्राउज विद इन द समाजवादी पार्टी सर्कल्स While the Samajwadi Party will play down the electoral significance of Aparna Yadav jumping ship to the Bharatiya Janata Party, the BJP is showcasing it as a rift, as a division within the SP family, hoping it is seen as a dent to its perception. With camera person Ashwini Helen, follow me, sir, in Delhi for India today. Now, Aparna Yadav quitting the Samajwadi Party is certainly going to come as a massive setback to the SP, undoubtedly. Now, let me give you some perspectives here. Of course, we are looking at the BJP right ahead of the crucial Uttar Pradesh polls, uh, almost having bragging rights to say that they've managed to breach the Yadav household. It's a big trophy catch for the BJP and UP, undoubtedly, and a big dent for the SP for sure. Now, we're also looking at. For Akhilesh Yadav, 
This is certainly a confusing signal uh, for the Samajwadi Party, undoubtedly for Samajwadi Party supporters who were so far emboldened with se several exits from the BJP and them joining the SP. And now it seems like cracks in the Yadav household itself has sent jitters. Also gives uh, a lot of uh, boasting rights, like I said, over SP um, for for the BJP undoubtedly. Now, we're also looking at a possible split in the Yadav vote bank. For the SP, this, is, this could be detrimental. Uh, but on the other hand, for the BJP here, it appears that they are hoping for some kind of gain when it comes to women voters. They're trying to attract women voters. Aparna's induction could be it. Now, here we're looking at a big blow after truce with the boring uncle Shivpal. In fact, SP had very recently tried to join hands with his chacha, his estranged chacha. And it appears now that he's convinced his chacha to join back uh, the alliance with the SP. Unfortunately for him, his own bhabi has quit the SP, joined the BJP. Of course, we're looking at the BJP now only gaining from it. It's a big moral booster undoubtedly for the BJP who were quite upset with so many defections only in the recent past. Now, cutting across to Aparna Yadav and her prospects of getting the Lucknow Kant seat. Now, remember, Aparna Yadav was uh, pitted against Rita Bahuguna Joshi in Lucknow Can seat. Uh, Aparna Yadav was contesting from SP ticket uh, in 2017 assembly polls. In fact, Rita managed to defeat Aparna Yadav by 33,000 votes in 2017. Now, BJP MP Rita Joshi is eyeing the same ticket, Lucknow Can ticket, for her son Mayank. BJP MP Rita Bahugana Joshi, it appears, we hear from sources that she might just be exiting the party, if at all, she is, her son or her is not given the Lucknow can ticket again. Now, there are several other contenders also at this point who are vying the same Lucknow can seat. It's a much sought after ticket. In fact, Union Minister Kaushal Kishore is also hopeful of the Lucknow can seat. We also have BJP MP Jagdambika Pal, who's also seeking the Lucknow can ticket. And also BJP leader Daya Shankar Singh, who's making a bid for the same ticket Lucknow can. Now, Samajwadi Party Chief Akhilesh Yadav, in the meanwhile, on the same day that his Babi joins the BJP, has now hinted that he is also going to be contesting the upcoming assembly elections. Akhilesh has said that he will be contesting from Azamgarh if people of Azamgarh give him permission to do so. Meanwhile, BJP has now alleged that SP chief is pressurized by UP Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath's decision to contest polls. I will और चुनाव पहले होना चाहिए योगी जी से पहले लड़ लें चुनाव हाई स्टेक्स उत्तर प्रदेश पोल बैटल विटनेसिंग हिस्टोरिक फर्स्ट्स इट मे बी द फर्स्ट टाइम एवर व्हेन टू लीडिंग कंटेंडर्स फॉर द टॉप पॉलिटिकल जॉब इन द स्टेट विल बी हिटिंग द पोल फ्रे Days after the BJP declared Yogi Adityanath as its candidate from the Gorakhpur urban seat, the Samajwadi party is set to bite the bullet. Party chief Akhilesh Yadav has given the clearest hint so far that he too could contest in the upcoming assembly election for the first time, virtually choosing the Samajwadi party stronghold of Azamgarh. I will Azamgarh नहीं आजमगढ़ की जनता से अनुमति इसलिए लेनी पड़ेगी वहां के लोगों ने मुझे जिताया है अखिलेश's change of heart comes after both UP chief minister yogi and his deputy keshav prasad maurya decided to fight this election from crucial eastern up region the bjp had taken a dig at akhilesh and dared him not to run away from the poll dangal agar unhe chunav ladna hi tha तो इतना समय पड़ा था अभी तक वो तय नहीं कर पाए थे उन्हें चुनाव कहां से लड़ना है जब चुनाव के बिल्कुल मुहाने पर खड़े हैं और हार उन्हें सामने दिख रही है तो ये चिंता है कि जाएं कि ना जाएं अब ये तो तय उन्हें करना होगा बड़ी देर कर दी हुजूर आते आते अखिलेश यादव जी पर इतना दबाव था मुख्यमंत्री योगी आदित्यनाथ जी के चुनाव लड़ने की घोषणा के बाद उनके पार्टी कार्यकर्ताओं में बड़ी निराशा थी और ऐसे में आप कार्यकर्ताओं के दबाव के बाद अखिलेश यादव जी नानुकुर करते हुए चुनाव लड़ने के लिए तैयार ही हो रहे हैं Akhilesh's big move comes on a day when his sister-in-law Aparna Yadav has joined the BJP. 
The move may be a big one to reassure the Samajwadi Party cadre. With Samad Srivastav in Lucknow, Bureau Report, India Today. Now, the much sought after Azamgarh seat, which uh, Samadwadi Party chief Akhilesh Yadav is mulling over contesting, has been a stronghold of the Samajwadi Party since 1996. The SP, in fact, won 9 out of 10 seats here in 2012. And in 2017, SP managed to win 5 out of the 10 seats. It, there was a drop that was seen. Parliament seat represented by the SP itself. Mulayam and Akhilesh have represented a seat in the parliament there from the same area. Area. Now, let me cut across to Itawa, which is another option for Akhilesh Yadav. Of course, he has many options. Uh, he can stand uh, in any constituency that he wishes to, since he is the chief of the Sabajwadi party. He gets a ticket where he wants to. But here, Itawa and Azamgarh seems to be the likelihood. Itawa now is anti-incumbency in BJP-held district. We're looking at a setback maybe for the SP there. Muslim and backward classes water base. So that could be a possible gain for them. Uh, Anti-incumbency in Bhartana seat. Uh, also former bastion of Shivpal Yadav. And Shivpal won thrice from Jaswant Nagar seat. Now, let me quickly cut across to our reporter who's been tracking all those developments from Uttar Pradesh. Samarth joining us for more. Samarth. On the day that Akhilesh Yadav's Bhabi joins the BJP, setting back the SP, almost a big embarrassment that it's been blown with. Here is Akhilesh Yadav today, who holds a press conference, announces that he is going to be foraying into polls this time. Uh, possibly Azamgarh is where he would like to contest if people of Azamgarh give, allow him to. Uh, what's the likelihood of him contesting from Azamgarh? And I'd really like to know the sentiments of Akhilesh Yadav and the family uh, after Aparna Yadav joined the BJP today. Any word from them? See, first let's talk about Aparna Yadav. It's a big thing which happened today. And it's a kind of th a kind of strike in the family of Yadav. So, because Aparna Yadav is crucial because she is the daughter-in-law of Mulan Singh Yadav. But if you see on ground, uh, Aparna Yadav has no vote base, base at all. So his departure to BJP will not impact much. But yes, it, as elections are nearing, it's a pressure building situation for the BJP. And that is why BJP is somewhere and somehow gaining with the, inco with the incoming of Aparna Yadav. Number two, Akhilesh Yadav's reaction. Akhilesh has re reacted that he's happy that uh, Aparna Yadav has gone to BJP because it will somewhere and somehow take, uh, take the thoughts of Samajwadi Party to BJP. He has taken it in a lighter, lighter way. He also said that Netaji, that means Mulayam Singh Yadav, convinced Aparna Yadav a lot of times, but she did not, she did not agree and left Samajwadi Party to join BJP. And number three, if you talk about Akhilesh Yadav fighting from Azamgarh, which is the most likely thing coming in, because Azamgarh is the place which ha which has obviously supported Samajwadi Party. If you talk about 2017 elections, in the times when there was there was PM Modi's leher, what what we say. Samajwadi Party managed to gain five seats out of ten, out of which four seats belong to BSP, one to BJP. Out of four BSP seats, three BSP Netas have joined Samajwadi Party, while the remaining one have joined BJP. So on a clear picture, if you see, so far around eight, uh, eight persons are of, BJ, of SP on that particular seats and two of BJP. So in a way, Azamgarh suits suits uh, Samajwadi Party and also Itawa and Manpuri are right. other two districts about them, the talks around because Samajwadi Party has tasted success in those two districts mm -hmm. and Manpuri is seen as the Karma Bhumi of Mulayam Singh Diyad of the Patriarch of Samajwadi Party. Right. So yes, Akhilesh was clear that he will take permission, he will seek permission from the people of Azamgarh and right. then the final decision regarding him fighting from any Vidhan Sabha seat will be taken. Yes. Alright, we'll see what Akhilesh has to say but uh, with regards to Aparna Yadav not having significant support, maybe when she was an SP leader, she may not have had that traction but if she's given a BJP ticket, it remains to be seen how she'll be looked at post that. Thank you very much, Samad, for joining us with those details.